Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yep. I think I forgot to tell you about this, um, or at least we didn't talk about it on the podcast. So, so I was in Ohio a couple weeks ago. Yeah, I remember and, that. And uh, when I was there, I was watching the Cleveland Browns play a game. Okay. And I forgot that sports gambling is legal in Ohio now. Yeah, 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 yeah. You told me that you made a couple bets. Yeah, so I was going to talk about that for a minute. You want to talk about your betting? Yeah, oh, I want to talk about like what kind of things happened. So, <laughs> so what type of things? I happened? just got distracted by the, the <laughs> okay. The screen. Right, fair enough. Fair enough. So, I uh, I downloaded the app, Sportsbook, DraftKings, and I put fifty dollars in it. And you start. And I thought I was going to, like, bet on the game. And the first thing I did was, like, I bet on the game, like, the spreads of a few different games. Like, I did, like, a parlay. Okay. And then I realized that I could bet on the plays of the game. Like, you can bet on every single play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense, honestly. If they can make money off of something, then, hey, let's boil it down to its purest form. Yeah, so every play you got to, I could bet whether it was going to be a pass, a run, a turnover, mm-hmm. or no, or say on that drive if they were going to like score a touchdown or a field goal or whatever. Mm-hmm. So, so I did that, and I doubled my money. Nice. Yeah, I and I also realized that if sports gambling was legal in Texas, I would be a degenerate and wouldn't be able to stop. <laughs> Because I sat there for three hours, and next thing I know, I was like, oh, I've been doing this the entire game. Yeah, yeah. And I was just like, it just never ended. It's very funny, because uh, when we went to, we went to like a, uh, a like a football party recently. I mean, well, not recently. This happened like maybe like a year ago. Well, we Remember to... that dude's house we went to, where all the houses looked the same? You talking about that one before COVID? I don't know if that was before COVID. With the guy's wife? Yeah. No, that... was that his wife? I don't know. The one where we went to where all the houses looked the same. And I was like, oh, my God, I'd get lost if I lived over here. And he had, like, the football party. He had, like, the whiteboard. And they had, like, the, the whole the whole catering set up. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, the was, dude we met at. That was, like, a, yeah, it was about a year and a half ago. Right? But either way, yeah, we had a football party there. And they were doing that. They were doing, uh, well, they weren't no, doing No, they were sport. doing fancy football. They were doing fancy football. But, like, I imagine that if, if gambling were legal here, is that that's what a, a football party would turn into. Too. Fancy football, gambling. Hey, what bets are you making? That seems like a fun experience. Like everyone's hanging out, betting against each other in the house. Yeah, you know. And you do it all via the app. It's like you don't know Jack, but like mm-hmm. money edition. I mean, yeah, essentially. Like we could just do that. Like I, we'll, not, we'll just watch. We'll watch we the Cowboys game this weekend. I'll be like TNT, 10 bucks. They get a touchdown this I'm drive. Not, I'm not taking. I don't know sports ball, Jonas. I'm afraid. You're not a sports ball guy? I'm not a sports ball. I never really have been. Basketball was my sport. I used to know like statistics about basketball. Yeah. But I. How didn't. many assists did I have in 03? But I don't know like enough to coach or anything. Like I feel like you know enough about football, honestly. And I, and I honestly, I feel like, you know, neither one of us know jack shit. But I feel like you know enough about football where you can predict what plays are going to happen on the field. Yep. I can't There's do, a meta, bro. There's I, a meta. I couldn't do that with basketball, but I could look at what happened on like a basketball court and maybe like figure out like Yeah, they they used to um we used to go to B dubs. What would work better or something. But yeah. And uh you know B dubs has that trivia where they bring out those blue boxes and you can play trivia on them. Have you ever been to B dubs and played that? Uh no, I've never played it. I did it, a long yeah. time ago. They don't even know if they still do it. Mm-hmm. But uh you used to during football games, they'd bring it out and you could literally guess pass, run, whatever, but it wasn't for money. You would just play against the people in the bar. Mm. And I did really good. Mm. People came up and they'd be like, yo, you're the best. Why don't you just come over and hang out with us? And like, yeah, buy me beers and stuff. Wow. Just women offering to give you fellatio. And- wow. I didn't say it was a sex party. I said it was a, at the bar. Small children, like, can you be my daddy? <laughs> They're like, I wish you were my dad. Yeah. I, I did, uh, it was a rough night. I had to like, own- reject some moms. Owner comes over. Hey, I was just, I own this business, but uh, you're so good at guessing pass or play. <laughs> <laughs> You're so good at guessing pass or rush that on our digital screen. I want to just... give you my B dubs. Yes, yeah. I want to give. I you... said sorry, sir. I'm only interested in gambling. 
I have a problem. Well, will you play a game of fantasy football pass or catch for it? <laughs> and you win, you get the business. And he won. He beat me. Oh. I, it was a long You felt day. bad for him. Yeah, you I let, let him win. Yeah, I let him win because I didn't want to you know. <laughs> Yeah. Wow, it's really impressive, Jonas. I mean, I don't tell that story very often. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, 600 some episodes of the podcast. Yeah. Never told that story. You I'm know why? Because I'm a humble man. I don't think, brag. I think because it's a lie. Um, you wow. know, it, it's very. It, I don't know if I could really get into the sports gambling. It, it like I do enjoy gambling, but only to a point. I imagine that, you know, you get that good feeling of, of making your money back. I just want you to remind you is that, you know, there's also that bad feeling of losing half of your money. All of it. It exists. All of it. Yeah, that too. I've, taken my, I've gambled and lost all my money. Not the, in existence, okay, but all yeah, the money see, I was willing to gamble. There, there you go. Make, yeah. sure you, make sure you put that on there. All of the money you were willing to lose. Yeah, but some people are willing to lose everything. Yeah, including I'm, their not, wife. I'm not that guy. And I don't even feel like I have an addictive nature where I feel like that's something you you know I have to watch out for is like getting addicted to gambling. But I don't want to tempt the fur the, the pony. Yeah, that, I uh, is that the term? yeah I don't tempt really get pony? addicted to things either. I don't have a very. I mean, I get addicted to some stuff, but it was like cigarettes, and I quit that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like I don't like get addicted to crack when I smoke that. Ah. Uh. Right? That's not. I mean, what? I mean, how often do you I mean, partake? What, every, every 20, 30 minutes. Okay, yeah. No, Forever? I'm pretty sure that's functioning. <laughs> it's functioning. Yeah. Functioning crackheads. Uh, no, I, uh, I've never been hardcore addicted to anything but cigarettes, I guess. No. I don't know. I just worry about gambling because it, it, that initial rush of winning money is so good. It's like the best thing to win money. It's almost like the first time you gamble hardcore, it's good to lose money first, so you taste the defeat before you face victory. So like then oh, yeah. victory tastes better and you know that like what it so you don't get that beginner's luck. Yeah, and you know what? Coming from a gambler that has successfully lost every time that they've gambled, perhaps that is where my uh inhibitions come from. Yeah. <laughs> Cuz uh you know, if I've never won anything ever in life, yeah. Funny, I don't want to put money into the system I watched anymore. you roll 37 craps in a row or something like that. I mean, that. I did have that one good night in Vegas, but I came home $400 lighter, so yeah, in oh, the long like, run, I ain't winning nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You won some of it back, but overall, yeah. yeah, yeah, I feel you. And I've been gambling in Ohio and in PA, and I have lost every single time. I went to the uh, the, the uh, indigenous people reservation out there. Ooh, you in like Ohio? that? In Ohio? No, in uh, PA. Oh, they got an indigenous people reservation? Yeah, and they have casinos on them. Yeah, my mom's boyfriend worked at one of them. Was he an indigenous people? No, no, they hire gringos. <laughs> Do they, did indigenous people call white folks gringos too, no, or is that just no. in Mexico? No, they probably call you like freaking like... Kimasabi? Bear, bear Wasn't wolf, that the, bear the, wolf river or something. Bear wolf river? Yeah, the bear wolf river men or something. I don't bear. know. Werewolf. I think that's more racist than anything <laughs> else. That's like adopting their own names. For well, I didn't feel comfortable saying pale face because <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel comfortable saying it. So I'm gonna let you. I said Kimasabi, and you're like, <laughs> and you're like, you go from one extreme to the other. Well, it, it, because it's like it's funny because it's like it's a it's a racist term from a indigenous person. Pale face, but is it? Yeah, like, pale face killer. Like if you called me blackface, I'd be like the hell, <laughs> dark face. Get the dark face. <laughs> we will fight. Wow. <laughs> All right. I feel so you, it's yeah. kind of a racist term. Yeah, this? I guess so. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know how I'd feel if anyone called me pale face. I, mean, I probably wouldn't care. I'm sure they weren't. And that's that's crazy, right? That's crazy. That is so. I don't cra care about much of anything, though. I, well, you know, you don't have to. <laughs> wow! Congratulations! Wow! Good job. <laughs> you don't. You don't have to. Go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe. You take, you take that pale face to any company, any country, any time period. And you, you know, you got much to worry about. No, I don't. God damn it. <laughs> On the next one, I'm changing my name to what? Paleface. Do it. Paleface. That's a good. Be a good rap name. Paleface killer. Whoa.
Yeah. Hey. Can't be a part of that group. Not me. Nah. Not nah. me. All right. Go to crazyhound.com for Jonas. TNT. Oh, yeah.